Yar, it's been a long battle, but peace is finally restored here in Bucko's pirate crew. The dissidents and the mutineers alike have been converted to Bucko's way. Ignore that one. Have been converted to Bucko's way. And I think there's only one thing left to do. Hoist the anchor and set sail, you scurvy sea dogs. There's a world out there full of treasure that belongs to one man. And one man only. Across all the seven seas, they will know the name Bucko Drink. The four-sworded Roger will be seen far and wide. I don't know about the risk chance, though. Someone might die. I'll die a goddamn hero. A goddamn pirate. Uh, the baby is on Bucko ship, by the way. Um, I'm not sure where on Bucko ship. Oh, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the hold. It's okay. It's got plenty of food. Windows are cracked. The radio is on. Our people have very simple orders. Let's get ourselves some advanced crafting supplies. We need steel, we need components, we need plasteel. Oh, it's a beautiful sight though, isn't it? Is this not a beautiful sight right here? Because of the travel time differences, Yeti is already over halfway done, whereas Admiral Bucko has only just arrived. How are we looking here? Master Cringe is halfway done. Catfish Chef is onto the first day. Same with Salty. Oh, God. They're going a lot faster than I expected they would be. This is true piracy. No quarries, no deep drills, no global resources. No bees, maybe bees later, but no bees right now. <gasps> Baby Bongwater became a scallywag on the ship of Bucko's raiding party. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so good. Robbie Bongwater has reached the biological age of three. Obviously remain a pirate. How does that work with your ship? Should I be concerned about that? Well, like, well, like good, right? You're just still in the cargo hold. Honestly, probably the safest place for you. I was about to ask a very silly question. Do you think we could ever fail this? But no. This is Bucko's crew, goddammit. 110 metal, 83 plasteel, and 12 components. God knows who that was. Uh, yeah, it was Yeti. Thank you, Yeti. Probably due to get a cascade of lots of victories. Here we go. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Cringe. Yes, it was. Seems like we can't get advanced components from this, which I was kind of banking on, but never mind, that's okay. We'll make do. Uh, by which I mean, of course, we'll just make them, given the amount of plasteel we're stealing here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't think we can fail. These were like 20%. I just don't think it's... Uh, there is a fail state. Nobody saw it coming, but the first one back was sweet little Yeti. That is a lot of stuff. Oh my god, we've got to be a little bit careful, I think, of the colony wealth going like this. We might get too rich and powerful, and we have nothing to defend ourselves with currently. Suffering from success, that's the catfish chef. Thank you, catfish. This is a belief yeti. Oh my god. Oh! This is another mutiny. This is another mutiny. He now believes in the doctrine of power. To come to terms with his beliefs, yeti is now hiding in his room because Bongwater died. Look, it affected a lot of us, yeti, but this is not the way. What the fuck is this? I don't know why. I, I totally understand. Your wife died, so why not worship bugs? It makes perfect sense. You do you, my friend. Not for long, you won't. When Bucko gets back, he's going to cut your head clean off. You are going to be walking the plank, you big bitch. You could change your mind. If we get him to change his mind before Bucko gets back, nope, that's not going to happen. Sorry, Yeti. What about regular turn? 73%? Just like that? Here comes the one and only flying butchman. She made it back, Mr. Cringe. She made it. Oh, get out the way. Jesus, this is too, this is a lot of components. This is doing me a significant front. And we could dump them all into turrets, to be fair. We might have to dump them all into turrets if we want to survive this. Two or ones, very nice. That's Arn Bjornberg and Tide Bubble. So we just went on the sweet Admiral himself. And there you have it. 100% success rate. Don't mean you can actually fail it. Probably fairly safe to say at this point, we would have failed it if you could have failed it, right? Oh, but you legend. The Flying Satchels. Obviously pretty nice to have when you've got, well, like half a dozen melee carrots in this place currently. Oh my god! You left a baby and you came back fully grown. What, what are those bricks there? Hello? There's the baby. Just unload the baby. <gasps> baby bong water. Welcome. We're gonna have to make some baby pirate clothes. Sorry, did I say baby pirate clothes? Clearly, I meant Scallywag Breezy Bucklers. Fucking Scallywag Breezy Buckler is my next remote character. <laughs> That's like borderline George Lucas name. Now, you might have seen yesterday's episode, and if you have, you'd know that we have a slight problem with mutineers. Yeti, you little prick. And as soon as I've solved the problem, oh my god, the child has put on a tricorn. Fine, live your life. I think that this small, pathetic ideology room just doesn't sum up the majesty that is Bucko Drink. Sleepy, sleepy bucko. I already put in the path. So what I'm, what I'm planning on doing is let's take this beach and let's build a massive ideology room over here. 
Bearing in mind, we've got to collect uh, many. How many exactly? Hold on, let me count. We've got to collect 18 relics, of which we've got one. It's going to be a long time. We're going to have to, like, line this room with two, three. So if I put six, uh, nine on each side, I did not say six. You can't prove that I did. King hell. <laughs> well, that's clearly not going to work, is it? Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. Do we have any good miners? No. The only miner we've got is... <laughs> my water, silly. <laughs> I need to move this plasteel. It's in my way. Oh, God, that's plasteel, isn't it? Wowie, you're going to be there for a long time. Travelers wish for arms? Uh, I think there's someone else wishing for arms, too. It's Yeti Felcher. Thanks to a splash of luck, Siren Earth, the hidden treasure while chiseling away something, something. I think that was pirate speak for she found two advanced components while taking apart a, uh, a pikeman. If I do that... It's a bit more... It, it's a bit more compact. It's a bit more convenient. It also looks a bit more ridiculous. <laughs> this is the way the game was meant to be played. <laughs> the crew bonding activity, okay? Jesus, they're actually going to go mad if I have them doing this. I've got 10 people trying to mine one meteorite's worth of plasteel. And it's still going to take them ages. This is pathetic. They're not landlubbers, so what the fuck do they know about land? If you ignore the fact that Bucko stole a whole mountain on his first day, where are those skills now, Bucko? Just trying to mine my rock, and what's happened? Bongwater seems to have gone on a rampage, but also has stopped going on a rampage. Um, Insomniac. Now nah, you're okay. Explosive or fun-loving? Ooh, that one seems good. Yeah, I like that. That's good. What happened? What happened, Bong? Sorry, I was blasting the rock just to try and speed it up, because this is nightmarish. What happened? Oh! <gasps> You fell asleep when you went on your rampage. Oh, she tuckered herself out. That's taken years off my pirate life. Come up with a room design. It's not amazing, but it's it's a way to fit 18 reliquaries into the same building. So I'll take that. I want to give it a bit of a gap on the other side so we can build a wall around it. There's going to be Bucko's enormous treasure room. This place needs to be well defended. And Bucko's Grand Treasure Museum is going to take about 40 years to build. Let's forget about it for now. Let's hop everybody on a ship. And let's do a bit of raiding. When I say raiding, I don't just mean turning up with the ship and stealing stuff over three days like we have been. I mean physically turning up and fighting some people. The piracy precept, and it's pretty generous too, as long as you've raided within the last 25 days, you get plus six mood. Work sites were bugged up until a couple of episodes ago, sure, but we didn't have any weapons and armor. That's not the case anymore. Could all that timber. Mr. Cringe, hard to starboard. Starboard is... Is right? I think so. Starboard has two R's, that's how you remember it's to the right. Ah, you see? You didn't know I was a nautical man. Yar, you... Oh. Oh, there they are. I thought there was no one here then for a second. Uh, maybe let's get behind some cover. There's a helicopter. Hello. Pirates of the sky. That's not really us, though, is it? That's not really us. God, those crossbows are slow. Holy shit, they're so slow. Bucko, I'm gonna just, like, manually start firing shots with you there. Otherwise, you're gonna get someone killed, aren't you? Let Master Cringe deal with it. Or don't. Okay. Let Master Cringe deal with this one. You gotta give him something. The poor boy's got nothing left. Give him something, please. Oh, Jesus, Bucko. What the hell are you doing over there? There you go. Well done, Master Cringe. See, he's still got it. He's still got it. If by it, you mean tremendous amounts of brain damage, then yeah. And I mean, it makes perfect sense why Butch stopped believing in Bucko after... After what Bucko did to Mr. Cringe. Accidentally. You know, he was... Well-intentioned. Mystic Vessel? What? Oh! Hello? What the hell is a mystic vessel? I wonder. Let's get Yeti's going trade. Sorry. I just wonder what the hell it was. I thought it was like a crest sword for clearing whatever this place was. Hello. Metal mechanical leg. Oh my god, a better peg leg for Bucko. 125% efficiency. Oh god to be praised. Hello. Metal iron belly. What is that? Ooh. Hold on. This could be good. Metal beauty wearer. Plus one beauty. Give it to Cringe. I mean, you don't have to have like a healer mech serum, right? Actually, we do need a nose for someone. I don't remember who. What's the what's the damage? Expensive. Very expensive. We'll pay for it with the finest doubloons. Don't you worry. We'll trade our rum for some plunder as well. We've got enough rum to last our people, and Bucko would like an enormous stack of cash. I think it just makes sense. Diver me timbers! It's a lot of a lot of timbers. Hey! Oh, dear. There really needs to be a minimum fire range on that weapon, doesn't there? Good God. We can only carry back 618. Damn these boats. Damn, these boats. Too full of pirates and not enough treasure. Okay, okay, maybe. Maybe we put, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Maybe we put the museum on pause. It's not very piratey, is it? Our enormous treasure trove we're going to stop so that I can instead, this is far more sensible, build a hospital. Or whatever a pirate would call it. Medical. The, the, the pirate doctor. You know what else we need? We also need a proper break. So what I'm thinking is, I mean, both would be more convenient, like, closer to the middle of the map. 
Because if enemies are coming through there, we don't want to drag our people maybe right from the center all the way down to this hospital. It's a terrible play. We can move the farms right to the very top of the island. I think that would make sense. What if we use a kind of... What if we build like a big old gate here? Right, this is this is just theory planning. Don't listen to it too much. We build a big old gate there and we expand out to the coast. On this side, we put all of our farms. Right, there's a farm, there's a farm, there's a farm. You understand what I'm saying? And then over here is where we would probably put like our brig, our, our hospital. Got a few more houses dotting around like in this direction. This will be all of our marketplace. So we'll have like little stores kind of around this center bit, maybe stretching out somewhat. I could be fine. Thanks to high morale, Admiral Bucko wants to make a trade, does he? Right, okay, well, let's go home, load up on plunder, and come back out. Restock since last visit, true, for Bridgetown. What about and Castries as well? Okay, well, let's let's head back. Let's stock up on plunder, and let's get out there and see what they've got. Maybe some new Catafrag gear. That'd be nice. It really does break your heart, doesn't it? Oh, stop building the reliquaries. No, 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 no. Let's just, let's just put a pause on the big treasure room for now. Very anti-pirate activities going on today. Throwing out a couple of buildings closer to up here. This is where I imagine we're going to be doing a lot of the firefighting, right? Put that big wall across. We'll actually throw down some defenses one day. Not today, but one day. This will be the prison. We'll put the prisoners here, turrets there, and then they've got to fight to actually get out. We'll put a big fence around it. This is going to be the hospital. Very simple. Very straightforward. That's going to be the drug production area. This will be like a little, little freezer or something to store your medicine in. We'll work on that. That's a very high priority. We lost too many people to uh, bad doctoring. And we've basically lost Mr. Cringe to bad doctoring as well. <laughs> I just can't believe a one-eyed, one-legged, alcoholic pirate man in a dark, dingy shack did bad surgery. Just doesn't make any sense. Before I forget, let's load up Bucko, because if we find a Helamex or something like that, happy birthday, uh, uh, Mr. Cringe, right? 6,600 plunder, my god. Maybe we just take that, and then on the way over, we stop off at Cat's butt. Test with this straight face, because I imagine, look at that, they've built 3,600 plunder for us. Pirate fleets inside pirate fleets. God, wait, we've got an even higher priority. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's quickly seal up this bit of the prison. Let's take the barber station out. Let's throw down a school. we got to throw down a school because Bongwater's ready to learn. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is that, mechanoid cluster? Right, you know what? That's, that's a problem for later. Sun parasol. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Very clever. Right, let's get rid of all this crap. Let's move some of these boxes out of here. What the hell is going on here? Hello? They've got, they've gotten into me rum. Oh, shit. They've, they've been putting the barrels outdoors. Oh, God. <laughs> out of them senses? That's not pirate speak. You'd say, oh, he's right bladdered. Blasted? Blasted? You'd say, uh, you'd say, rat assed. Well, like, uh, like asked, but you say asked because it's it's a horrible. They're a horrible, terrible people. They're they're an awful, disgusting people, and that's why I don't go home very often. <laughs> Never been more glad to dodge a bullet than that accent. My God. Hell, I would say we'll wait until the hospital's built before we try fighting the mechanoids, but sadly we've got 1.3 days. So let's get everybody prepared. Love having a crew capable of combat. This is such a nice change. A, a catfish chef or yeti good at doctoring? Can I get them on triage? No. What am I supposed to do with you two, huh? You're lucky you've got the skills to redeem it, because you are shit on this pirate crew. You think we stand right back and we just let Bucko deal with it? What is that? Two gunners, a scyther, a terror cannoneer. Ah, oh, it's centipede to you and me. Oh, oh, or apparently the depths of the waters come and attack us instead. Oh, shit, that's absolutely everywhere. Um, hello. How you doing? What exactly is this going to be? Deep ones. A pirate's worst enemy. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're between a rock and a hard place here. On one side, we've got a horrific, unspeakable horrors of the deep. On the other side, we've got mechanoids. <gasps> it's because they've lit uh, the shark effigy on fire. Clearly, they took great offense to that. Bucko. Well, that's a, wood, a rude awakening for Yeti, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God, here they come. Bucko, I'm going to get you just to stand over there. You stay out of the way. You're going to get someone killed. Well done. There we go. What the hell is that? 13. Oh, Luciferium? Oh, there it is. The Devil's Bargain. Make Luciferian powder from... Uh, oh, I thought it was a way to make Luciferian. And I was going to say, that's crazy. It's uh, vanilla cooking. <gasps> me rum. War. They're declaring war on the ocean. You bastard. Not me rum. Anything but me. Did you see that man just disappear? <laughs> it went into the barrel. <laughs> I love the idea that she just picked it up and stuffed it in. Oh, my God. I wonder where the hell it went then. Let's put those fires out. Luckily, it's misty and wet. 
Fire growth per day, 25%. So nothing at all to worry about there. Okay, then. Uh, forget about the mechanoids. We'll deal with that tomorrow. God, this is important that we need to build that hospital. Oh, shit. There's one still up. Live? Uh, buck on me, lad. Uh, get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Well, well, that, so much for the hospital, huh? We've, we've actually lost progress building it. Oh, it's cowering. Oh, it's cowering. It's terrified of Admiral Bucko. The real master of the seas. Must have heard the rumors. Oh, you know, maybe maybe his horrendous, mostly clockwork wife. Goodbye, horrible creature. Brilliant. Well then, good work, squad. Let's get some sleep. Let's maybe move the hospital up here first before we take on the mechanoids. I think that's a good play. We've got a day to throw down some walls, throw down some beds. I, I think we can do that. I think that's no trouble. Oh, shit and piss. It's almost all quag. Oh, dear. Well, that's okay. The bridges match the floors anyway. So that's the important part. The aesthetics aren't going to be compromised. <laughs> quag, the sea of the land. Very annoying. Uh, what else? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go uh, sterile materials. What's that called? <gasps> Swabbed deck. Swabbed. Swabbed deck? I was right. I was absolutely... Oh, we've already done it! Hey, well done. Hey, you've seen the problem, right? You know where I'm going with this? You make sterile floors out of plunder. That's going to be a hard thing to convince Bucko to do. But I think it's all still loaded on the bloody ship, right? 14 hours remaining. We've had a lot of this event triggering where they have conversations about the research and it gives you research points. The, the conversation probably goes something like, Yar, I'm sick of being dragged halfway across the map to bleed out in a... Filthy little fortress. Canoids all right, but don't worry, squad. We've got a state-of-the-art hospital. Absolutely nailed it, I think. Great work, squad. Can't help but notice that looks like a very golden gun you've got there. It is. Oh, they've got a gun made of solid gold. The enemies are taunting Bucko. Even the mechanoids on this planet are rich. Yeti and Catfish are there to assist with uh, carrying people off when they inevitably get killed by that horrible... Oh, centipede. Sorry, did I say centipede? I meant bucko drink. God, well, there goes nothing. Bucko's firing at the centipede. That means our melee characters are free just to go and intercept. Let's get you behind some cover there very, very quickly. Master Cringe, you got to defend the sniveling nerds in the hospital, please. Salty went down instantly. Jesus Christ. Well, you were shot right through the heart there by that. Ooh, by that Lancer. So actually, fair enough. Let's send Butch in. This is dangerous. Dangerous as fuck. But I think Butch can handle it. Butch can handle it. Butch can handle it. Uh, cringe. Uh, sorry, Bucko. Let's see if you can take out that one for me. God, these names. <laughs> what are you called? Hospitals defended. Hospitals defended. Not that we need to worry about that too much. Nice work, Bucko. Thank you, fella. Can we bring you forward so we can hit one of those turrets? Because that would be lovely. Butch has got that covered. Butch doesn't really need help. I'm, I'll send, uh, Siren as well. Tide Bubble, let's get you carrying... Let's get you carrying Salty. Now, let's get the Catfish Chef, because they've got very long-range weapons. So they can give us a good bit of cover here. Bucko is going to take that thing out. And he's going to do it with accuracy and fury. Did you just shoot Master Cringe? I think you just did, you little prick. Watch this shot. Damn. Actually, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, God. Butch. Butch, how are you taking this much damage? You're fist fighting a centipede. Worried that there might be a little bit of friendly fire there. How are you doing? Lightning in a bottle. Terror cannon in your head. No, it is just melee damage from the centipede. That is ridiculous. 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 Ridiculous enemies. Bucko, I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucko, bucko. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, my God. Okay, finish it off, finish it off, finish it off. Jesus Christ. Okay, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Butch, go and lie down. Go and lie down. Thank you, bucko. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. So disappointed in Butch taking so much melee down. Not like disappointed like a, you know, like an angry dad. I mean, disappointed like it's just a shame she took so much damage from... Melee attacks from a centipede. Given her all she's got. <laughs> Go give it her all she's got and it's just not enough. It's gonna be bloody close, but you should be fine. You should be fine. I have faith. I have total faith. There you go. Two hours. You're absolutely fine. What was that there? Was that a medical improvement? Couldn't tell what it was underneath the other thing. What are you firing at? What the fuck's going on out here, bucko? Oh, that lance had got back up. Oh. Wasn't any threat. Butch, butch, please don't waste the guts of all medicine on scratches. For Christ's sake, don't be ridiculous. On the plus side, apparently we now have enough medical experience to build the uh, hospital beds, which would be a nice change of pace, huh? I stand by every decision I made in the order I made them. Getting the treasure, building the tavern, building a shitload of ships, then you do the hospital. This is a pirate playthrough. This is not just RimWorld.mp4. I mean, it is. You know what I mean. Everybody's okay, right? Oh, look, there it is. Oh, that's what it was. As we're tending them, we're getting research points. Ah! Oh, shit, because I started them all as prototypes. They're all being built broken. 
Uh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Doesn't make a massive difference. We could just repair them, right? But when you are partway through the research, you can build prototypes. Problem is you have to repair them afterwards, or if they're machines, you need to uh, uh, replace the components, stuff like that. This place is going to be state-of-the-art, though. Look at this. We've got IV drips. We've got the actual... I mean, am I going to spend the silver on the floor? It's such a hard sell when you're a pirate. It's such a hard sell. Have we got no nothing else? It's like kind of close. Cleanliness 0 0.6, 0 0.4. If we place down the vinyl. Ultra screen television. I'll take... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we good? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. It's all okay. Oh, no. Oh, this has been a disaster. Oh, piss and shit. Well, this is probably the part where I point out that over today's episode, there's been a, a, an enormous amount of bugs. Very suddenly, lots of different mods. None of them related or anything like that. And it has been a total nightmare to try and get anything out of it. Good as new. Resume the piracy. And there is a cataphract helmet. I will happily take that one. I think I left any plunder here, but there is another trade caravan. Hello. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is going on here, huh? I'd have that face too if I had to feed that many muffalo. Not entirely sure what the hell's happened there, but that's okay. We'll have a chat, see if they've got, importantly, uh, some sort of brain cure for Master Cringe. Where's he going? Oh, they got into a social fight. Oh, brilliant. Um, if, you, if you're quite done. Hold on a minute. I wasn't expecting a slaughterfish made of diamond. Um. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay. I don't know, because you cook those into meals. They're the equivalent of raw meat, right? Yeah, have some rum. There's a nice there's a nice trade. Let's, let's sell them all our rum and then get a little bit of money from this. How bizarre. How very strange. Ooh, yahar. Oh my god. Forget about the armor a second. Beautiful head devil fruit. Thin body fruit. Very happy fruit. Oh shit. Hello. What are these things? Give me the very happy fruit. We've got to see what happens. We've got, we, we should probably take this back and examine it, right? Make sure there are no weird side effects. See, since day one, everybody said the same thing about poor sweet Captain Admiral Bucko Drink. It's not the man he was. Too weak, too feeble. He doesn't quite have that fiery youth that he had. I remember back in his prime when he would fight a new group of raiders every three days or so. Mainly because it was wave-based survival, but my god, he'd do it with a smile on his face. Everybody feared Bucko the Unkillable, and that's probably because he and everyone else was outfit with the same armor set and the best weapons in the game heavily reinforced using very unbalanced mods. That's not the point. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> I've never seen One Piece. I don't know what this means. L wonderful textures, though, aren't they? They're so lovely. Whoever made these textures must be very, very talented at RimWorld modding. I did it mid-episode because I realized um, the, the textures that were included by the mod by my good friend Dexter Feldo were hideous. <laughs> Really just terrible. No, I'm so sorry, Dexter. <laughs> I was gonna do these properly, okay, but that's that's as good as it gets from mid-episode texture. Now, my friends, wanna see a return to glory for Admiral Bucko Drink. How about he swallows down a devil fruit? Whatever they are. And I understand what they are. They're, they're, I've watched like 50 episodes of it. Which sounds like a lot until you realize there are 500,000 episodes of it. The devil fruits are magical fruits that when you eat them will change you in unexpected ways. They'll give you a, a powerful magical mutation. In this case, this one will make you very happy. But Bucko, Bucko is not an idiot. Sadly for Mr. Cringe though, he absolutely is. Cringe me boy, there's a tasty fruit for you in the stockpile. I mean, Cringe turns up at a village that they've robbed before and they sell him a magic fruit for his silver. Does sound a little Jack in the Beanstalk. I think somebody needs to test this fruit, and I think that somebody is going to be my good friend, Master Cringe. Ooh. Ooh, it's so delicious. Ooh, the flavors are delightful. It's sterile, and I like the taste. Ah. Master Cringe, do, so do ya. Feel always, oh, look, he's telling me how he feels. He's telling him he feels nuclear, which is a big word for a man with half a brain. Has it made any difference to him? Oh, <gasps> devil fruit eater. Carriers have consumed a devil fruit at some point, which exerts an effect on their DNA, preventing it from being tampered with any further. Any attempts to do so will be seen as a fail. That's right, my friends, you can only eat one devil fruit. Except there is that one guy in One Piece who's eaten a lot. Maybe spoilers, I don't know. Uh, very happy. He gets plus 10 joy forever. That was a kind thing to do for your friend, Master Cringe. We'll save the real good ones for Bucko Drink. <laughs> There's also these, but these are ones that just affect you mentally, not physically. Uh, so we're going to give that to... Uh, you know what? Creating. That's, that's artistic. We've got planting and then chatting. If we give that one to Master Cringe, it will take the edge off a little bit of his brain damage. It might, it might help him improve somewhat. Let's see how that goes. Up to 15. Oh. 
We went from 11 to 15, reached level 12 in chatting. I mean, technically both are true, yes. Then we've got planting that we'll give to Catfish Chef. He's already pretty good, but why not double down? Every crewmate needs a role. I mean, I don't mean that literally, but we could always set it up so every crewmate has a has their own role. And kabang. Very nice. Those ones are just dead, well, just neuroformers that we've slapped a texture on, okay? They're not they're not the same as what Mr. Cringe has eaten there. It's a special devil fruit, the ones that give you powers. And Skelanker for creating, that's art, isn't it? Do we have a good artist? Salty could do something. The problem is Salty's also the uh, the chef currently. So she's already got a lot on her plate. <laughs> It's also a fruit, so she's going to eat that as well. Oh, it all comes full circle. Where the fuck are you? Come on, Salty. Hurry it up. She went from level 8 to level 8. Did you fuck? Right, well, I'll be taking a refund on that one then, you little dick. Pull the mega screen television so we could put it behind the bar. Because I don't know about you, but that's where you have that's where you have TVs, right? Um, <laughs> sure as fuck not going to fit. <laughs> um, if we... I could put it there, take the wall and some of those shelves away. Then you could sit at the bar and actually watch the TV. Because it will cover all of those. If we put it there, it'll cover all of those barrels. That could work. Okay, let's take all this shit away. Take out all this, uh, all, all these important load-bearing structures. We've built the hospital. That's ticked off. We haven't got the peg legs and the fabrication on yet. Though we did finish the research for that, right? There you go. Advanced peg legs, advanced peg arm. So I guess I will tick that off, but we've still got to kind of do it. Get fabricating, finish the brig, and then we find a legendary fruit. For Admiral Bucko. I think that's got to be our major goal, right? This guy needs power. He needs a step up, and that's a hell of a way to do it. I mean, there are, of course, other alternatives to empowering sweet, precious Bucko drink. Now <laughs> that the hospital is looking superb, where's all the medicine? Hey? No, don't put medicine in there, you fucking fools. Low priority. Haul it away! Haul it! Haul it away! I swear, this it's only this playthrough I've had this problem with. They're just refusing to haul shit. Unless I tell them to haul shit. Bloody mutineer pirates mutineering against me. What was I talking about? Right, now that we've got the hospital set up, we should have a look at some Peggy-related stuff. Um, well, these are the basic ones, though. Yeah, 85%, so that's not much of an improvement. These are just your basic bionics. Oh, shit, I guess we'll head for fabrication then instead, eh? For fabrication, we need the researcher's kit. That'll be your multi-analyzer then. Kapow. Slap that on. Oh, also gives us some research. Build research, oh, like actual kits. Right, gotcha. What a lovely city. What a beautiful city. My God, I wish we had some bricks here. A beautiful, flammable city. A little expansion on the docks too. Do we really need it? Not really, but I feel like a lot of these ships are kind of smashed in down here, so we can park them at the top there. Finally build a wall around the top. Maybe get some defenses going. Wouldn't that be lovely? We could build a few more houses. Whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. Put down some decorations to fill the empty spaces. I think it's looking okay. It's looking fine. A little bit empty over here, but we'll fill it out as we go. Lots of other buildings to build. Where are you going? You're walking all the way around the edge. You're going to go all the way around the outside. <laughs> you morons. Go all the way around the outside and then stand in the water. Fine. You know what? Live your life. There's nothing to do with me. Research is slow. That's par for the course. We knew that. And there's not a way to reverse engineer a multi-analyzer. You can go around and, and I think go for... Yeah, she's reverse engineered something there, clearly. Oh, look at that. Reverse engineered the remote field research kit. Well, that makes sense, right? Uh, mechanical tables she can research or, or, or she tools that. It's going to be a long time, though, before we get those replacement limbs. So we're just relying on whatever we've stolen or whatever we've whatever we've traded for. Right now, though, do I have some good news? Just so happens in our stockpile, we have a mechanical leg, which is a massive improvement over his peg leg. Problem is, our best doctor other than Bucko is Tide Bubble. 6.27 medical. I think I might crank it up to Glitterworld. I think we've got enough to make this surgery go. Yeah, we do. How much have we got? We've got two more after that, so we can do one more operation. This is the best I can do. It's not exactly state-of-the-art, but it, it, it's a, a massive step up compared to what we had. We could go sterile tiles for the rest of it at some point, and I'm sure we'll get around to it. Given how important wealth is in conversion, the next time we get a raid of actual people and not mechanoids, we might want that silver. Not as a floor, that is. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> you didn't miss to cringe it. Thank you. That gives us a spare peg leg as well in case of emergencies. Perfect. That's so good. More like butto drink. Ugh. Got anything else we can give him? No, it's just kind of eye patches, eye replacements, that type of thing. I have a nose for arm, Bjorn Berg. Great news. We should also give you an actual pirate name instead of just your generic, generic pirate crap, your generic Viking crap. What have we got for you? You need a whole new arm. God, I wish I could do something for Yeti Felcher. 
<laughs> I hate that name so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. Every time I say it, it makes me a little bit sick. Here, peg arm. That'll do. Speaking of uh, Yeti Felcher, or maybe you've been saved here. Companion products. Master Cringe, give him a trade. Show me. <gasps> Ooh, never sleep through. Oh my god. Uh, but it also makes you unattractive. Oh no. Super immune could be amazing. Firebrand Spew, that's also quite fun. Oh, no, I don't think we need that. Okay, um, what have we got here? Hardstone Skin, Iron Skill, uh, Iron Hide Skin. Tourniquet Augment? What is that? What does that mean? Bleed Factor. Oh, it's a Coagulator, gotcha. Man, Super Immunity seems really good. The Never Sleep seems really good, too. Unattractive, we could cancel out if we just give them the, uh, like, uh, like, like the, the sexy body stuff. That could be good. Sexy body stuff. You know what? I mean, like Crocs. You know what I mean. We'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, we'll trade. We'll trade you some rum for it. He's so back. 112%. He went from being a pure shiter to the fastest man in the colony. Uh, which I think is actually true. I think that's true, right? Hang on, Catfish Chef. You good? Yes, fastest man in the colony. And for the ace in the hole, Bucko's real top secret pirate technology. No one else in the whole of Rim Rim knows how to construct the equipment reinforcer. A machine that eliminates tons of resources. Okay, well, they're not really selling it very well. This is a machine knowledge held only to Bucko. Maybe his wife. Maybe it's his once robot wife that knew all of this stuff that is now a, now a human that's mostly mechanical. Maybe she knows it in that big once robot brain of hers because she was an Arcotech persona core turned into a person, right? You know the law. You've seen the story. Maybe she knows how to build this. She's told him, Bucko, look, I've heard they're all laughing at you. They're all, oh, this is nice. I actually like this a lot. This is so good. There's two old pals hanging out at the bar, getting a beer, surrounded by filth and vomit. <laughs> oh, and then he goes off to listen to his wife play piano. Oh, this is so lovely. And she whispers to him the secret, Bucko. They're laughing at you, Bucko. I've heard what they say. This is a new world filled with tried and true tested pirates, the most powerful. The Vikings have their crew equipped with crypto. The other people that we haven't fought yet have nothing but war caskets. And I mean, the Queensman turned up in cataphract gear. What's Bucko got? He's got a brain damage ex chocolatier. The brain damaged chocolatier's wife, who is also very heavily damaged, barely anything of her left. A cat boy. And then rainy mermaid <laughs> who longs for the ocean with this my god bucko will make us return we raid the people we take the treasure from the raids and we stick it in the reinforcer and before you know it unstoppable bucko and that combined with the power of the devil fruit when we find it when we find something better my god what a guy he will be i mean i would offer to reinforce our anchor but like it's made of gold that might be quite expensive. Thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate your time spent here. Today's episode was an eclectic mix of building, sailing, piracy, raiding, character development, the whole lot. But sadly, that's a side effect of things being a little bit buggy right now. There's lots of fixes going on in the background. Some of the stuff I'm I'm sorting for the series, some of the stuff is just unrelated. Uh, and you know, these things happen. And I, I of course, thank the modders. I, I procrastinate. Pro, pro, procrastinate? What's the word? Pro... Pro pros prostrate myself before them uh, and and accept whatever wisdom they gift us because anything at all is of course a gift and hopefully things will be nice and tidy soon and we can we can kind of pick a goal and stick to it and fly ahead rather than just doing a little bit of everything that works so thank you more importantly a big thank you to uh, Spaceman Joe, Yubbins, Left, Nubbin, MK, Sky, Afel, Tail, Lady Jade, Archbishop, Robert, Echo, 556, five, Cataphract, Ash, Suna, N, Baxterino, Worker of Secrets, Dames, Ditchell, The Aaron, W, Zero, Splendid, Spleen, Spill, David, F, 83, Wookie, Overlord, Brotmit, Toast, Jerry, The Emperor, Plants of Friends, Sherlock, Castle, Bigsby, The Cat Lover, 366, and Azamemnon, Zion. For their support of the executive producer tiers from Patreon, thank you for being here. Don't forget, we've got Fallout 4 over on the second channel. Uh, a lovely buddy cop comedy roleplay series that may be of interest to you, even if you're not interested in Fallout 4, because that's where I am. I don't give a shit about Fallout 4, but I'm having a, a pretty fun time over there. Uh, Crusader Kings 3, returning soon. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing, how we're doing it, but let me tell you right now, I think it may have the potential to be a fan favorite, something you least expect. And then, of course, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, funnily enough, how coincidental, uh, continuing on the Elise and Sam channel, uh, recently purchased and have thrown together a dedicated Elise and Sam PC. Uh, somebody asked why not just put together like a little network thing, and cause we got microphones, you can't network into a microphone. Anyway, uh, it saves me having to fuck up my recording setup here for um, some other like side content, so nice budget build for that, but should make things a bit more consistent when everything's all tight 
tidied up. Still dealing with Windows crap and, you know, the usual. So stay tuned. See you all then. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yarr.